So let's talk about Team Universe 7, the 10 Warriors representing Universe 7 in the upcoming Universal Survival Arc, otherwise known as the Omniversal Tournament, hosted by the Omni Kings and apparently the Great Priest. So what I want to do here is rank the fighters from Universe 7 from strongest to weakest and fill you in and analyze what they can do and how their abilities may actually give them the edge in the fights. Let's go. Now this list is based on things that we can just presume or at least we've seen in the series and as we approach the arc it may end up moving some people up and down depending on whether or not we see some incredible feats from these fighters but as it stands right now at the tippy top is Goku. Now you could always sit there and say that Goku and Vegeta are even and they may actually be even. I mean there is a possibility that because Vegeta is such a hard worker that by the time we get to this actual tournament that he and Goku are going to be neck and neck but based on the future Trunks arc and the the fact that Goku with his Kamehameha single-handedly injured and was able to repel merge Zamasu's key blast and actually break his angelic barrier to me puts Goku slightly above Vegeta but as you know if you've been watching Dragon Ball for any length of time it goes up and down I mean if these guys surpass each other and overcome each other's you know limitations every other arc it seems number two is Vegeta because he's just the second strongest guy I mean Goku and Vegeta have achieved high levels of god power based entirely on the fact that Dragon Ball Super is pretty much about them but I do totally see them being you know the tippy top fighters in the group how well they'll do in the tournament though that remains to be seen but nonetheless you can't really deny that Goku and Vegeta are one and two and that they'll probably flip flop in that position as we approach the fights now number three is going to be the interesting one and I might get some flack for this but the reality is I do believe this Gohan is number three out of these ten fighters it's hard to imagine that Gohan is not number three and the reason why I say this is for a couple of reasons why I put him above other fighters number one Gohan regardless of anything actually is stronger than people think he hasn't kept up with his training and he is weaker than Goku and Vegeta based on what we've seen in Dragon Ball Super and in Resurrection F but that doesn't mean he's not stronger than everybody else and even though Piccolo was pretty damn impressive in the Universe 7 Universe 6 tournament I don't think he was able to surpass Gohan I just don't think he was don't forget that this Gohan as we see right here is ultimate Gohan so there's no question that he's taking his training seriously again does this mean though that he's going to be training and achieving God power if he does he might actually even surpass Goku and Vegeta because if Trunks can do it for a little while I don't see why Gohan couldn't but when you look at everybody else here Majin Buu who is my number four pick, Majin Buu, although he has a lot of really incredible abilities that will help out in the tournament, like turning into candy, of course his regeneration, the fact that he can pick up on techniques just by seeing them once, all of this stuff is very useful. I just don't see him being as strong as Goku, Vegeta, or Gohan. The fact that Gohan was able to wreck Super Buu in DBZ, and we know Super Buu is stronger than Majin Buu, especially this version of Majin Buu that does not have the evil side inside of him, I just don't see how Boo could be any higher than these three guys but he is number four because of what I said and because of his durability and ability to pick up on techniques and hopefully this time we'll actually see him fight now number five I'm going to go ahead and go with Piccolo even though we don't see Piccolo accomplishing any kind of crazy feats he fought way too evenly against Frost for me not to put him on this list plus he fought very well in Resurrection F and even though we didn't see him fight in future trunks, if you look and analyze kind of the evidence presented to us and just do some very simple power scaling, I think that Piccolo, and again, this is my guess, but I think just based on how Piccolo has improved himself as years have gone by, I'm going to put Piccolo here because I think that during the Boo Saga, I think Piccolo did at least, at the very least become neck and neck with perfect cell maybe even stronger and it's been a few more years since then so i just don't see anybody below piccolo on this list like I, everybody else below piccolo i think belongs there now moving on number six is again very tricky 
But I think if you analyze what the series tells us and the information presented to us, you'll understand. And I'm going to put Android 18 at number 6. And the reason for that's because, you know, some people will say, well, what about Android 17? In Dragon Ball Z, Android 17 stated himself that he was slightly stronger than his sister. Even though he didn't say it was his sister at the time, he did say that he was slightly stronger. Now, was this 17 just boasting or not? Well... Either way, even if hypothetically he was stronger than 18, we know based, you know, factually, we know from a Toriyama interview that 18 and 17 are artificial humans. They are humans with genetically modified enhancements, and thus not only do they have an infinite supply of energy, which I think makes them very dangerous, but they can also train and become stronger. I've done a video covering this, and we've seen Android 18 fight. She fought Beerus. She fought in the World Martial Arts Tournament. We've seen her fight before. But 17, all he's done from what, from all the information we have after he was resurrected, after Cell was dead, all he's done is he became a park ranger and a father. There's no evidence of him actually training or becoming stronger. Will we see him train? I think it's a possibility. I think it's actually even likely, but I don't think he surpassed Android 18. And that's why I have Android 18 at number 6 and Android 17 at number 7. But either way... 17 may surprise us in the tournament, so we'll see what happens. Uh, number 8 is Krillin, and the reason why I'm putting Krillin here is because Toriyama explicitly stated that Krillin is the most powerful human. Now, some people will sit there and argue and say, well, what about Ten Shin Han? What about Tien? Well, that's a tricky one because we do know, based once again on various interviews, which you can look up on Kanzenshu, Ten Shin Han is actually not fully human. He is the descendant of the Three-Eyed Clan, who are a group of aliens. So he's only partially human. So maybe that's a loophole to where Ten Shin Han may be stronger than Krillin, but I still think that Krillin is a little bit stronger. I think Krillin's very underrated. I think Krillin has a lot of abilities that could be useful, like, of course, the Kienzan, otherwise known as the Destructo Disc. I think that Krillin being at number 8 is fair. Number 9 on the list is Ten Shin Han. I'm going to put Ten Shin Han on here because... You know, he, th we're getting to the bottom of the barrel here, and no disrespect to these guys, but we never saw any truly impressive feats. Tenshin Han in Resurrection F showed off a lot of great martial arts acumen, but you have to remember, guys, they were fighting Frieza soldiers, and even though Frieza soldiers appeared to be, you know, greater in numbers, there's no way that the average Frieza soldier could screw around with Tenshin Han or any of these guys. I mean, it'd be too easy. Plus, we know that Tien has various techniques that could be useful, including the Solar Flare, otherwise known as a Taioken, where he can blind his opponent. And if this is going to be a team battle, I mean, hell, you could have one guy blind one guy and then have Boo uh, turn him into candy or have Krillin cut him in half. I mean, there's so many possibilities of combinations we could see in this tournament and I totally could see that being the case uh, I think he's still going to be useful and I think he has a lot of real spiritual kind of um, you know meditation techniques as well he is a pure martial artist and I think he'll be helpful and of course number 10 is Master Roshi and I only put him here because even though there's a wacky and there's a wacky fan theory that Roshi's secretly like god level strong and he just hid his power I don't know if I believe that one necessarily because Roshi did the Mafuba in Dragon Ball and actually died unlike Tenshin Han and Trunks when they did it and Goku when he practiced it of course so it's one of those things where I just Roshi's number 10 he's still ridiculously strong and I think he has gotten stronger I think the scale might be a little weird with it but I think Roshi is a bit stronger than we thought from Dragon Ball we know for a fact that he can at least blow up a moon which to me if you can blow up a moon you can kill a bunch of Frieza soldiers with ease and I think he's just there as a throwback I don't think he's meant to be a super powerful being or anything but he is the weakest on the list so let's go ahead and recap the list I'm going to go from weakest to strongest Roshi at number 10 but again he could be more of a coach and he could be more you know of, of a, uh, a mentor to these guys Tenshin Han number 9 Krillin number 8 7 Teen is number 7 18 is number 6 Piccolo number 5 Majin Buu number 4 Gohan number three. I mean, some people think that Boo and Piccolo surpass Gohan. I think that just the way he looks here, I think I just don't think so. I th I do think that Gohan's not as as weak as everybody thinks. I just feel that he's been portrayed to look weaker than he actually is. But once he actually starts fighting, I think he is a lot stronger than you could imagine. And then of course at the tippy top we have Goku and Vegeta. 
interchangeable, but I think Goku as of right now is slightly stronger. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know your top 10 rankings in the comments section. I'm very curious to see if you guys have any differences to mine. Do you agree with my list? Do you think that I'm off? Do you think that Gohan might surpass everybody? I'm curious about your thoughts. Remember to punch that subscribe button and like the video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching it. It means a lot to me as always. Share it out. I will catch you guys down the road, and I look forward to seeing what actually does happen in the Universal Survival Tournament.